I guess, for one thing, setting the NCAA record for uh, games played. Does that mean anything to you? It means you've been around for a long time. Um, I think it means I've been around a long time. I've also been through a lot, and so I think um, it just speaks the volume that I still have the opportunity to play because at this point a lot of people would have lost that opportunity or other things that would have happened that would have ended their careers. So I think it's just an honor to like still have the opportunity to go out there and play. In your sixth year, is there still that love of the game that you had? back in high school, back as a little girl, that kind of thing? Um, yeah, I think um, with the change and everything, it brought new opportunities and new challenges with it. And so I think um, that has kept it new and fun for me. Did you know coming into the year that that was a record that, that you could break? Or when did you realize that, that you had the chance to break that record? Um, I actually had no idea. Um, the first time I found out was after the Oklahoma State game when I think I tied it or something. And then the next game, they're like, oh, you're going to break it. So. That was the first time I found out about it, so I did not know prior to that. I'm guessing you went through a senior day at Alabama, or did you? I did go through senior day at Alabama. What will this be like, only being here a year, but what will this be like going through a senior day here? Um, I mean, I think it's still special. I think senior day is something that only comes around one time for some people, so to have two senior days, and especially with a new group of people and team and environment, I think um, it'll be just as special as the first one. And Obviously, you join Nolis and Queen. Can you talk about just kind of what they've meant to you and, and, and to this team, I guess, this year? Um, Nolis and Queen have meant a lot to me. I feel like um, they brought me into the team. I feel like they're very um, arms wide open. I feel like they taught me a lot. Um, just thankful for their play, too. Um, they're willing to, like, catch any passes I throw to them, uh, set good screens. And so I think um, just playing with two great players on offense and defense has just um, made a lot easier for me. And I think um, I've also learned a lot from them. I think Caitlin's maybe a little bit underappreciated, not not by the coaches, not by you guys, mm -hmm. but maybe by fans and stuff that don't see all the stuff that she does. Um, I feel like Kate's underappreciated outside our team and outside our family, only because the things that she do don't always show up on the stat sheet. And I think a lot of things that don't show up on the stat sheet aren't always recognized. And so I think it's just important that at least we know, because we feel like at the end of the day, all we have is each other and the team and the coaches. So um, I don't think really other people's opinions matter. What do you do after this year? Are you going to play pro ball, or what, what's your goals, I guess, after this year? Um, I'm really the type of person to play the next day. Um, I don't try to look too far ahead. Um, professional is something that I want to do, but um, I don't think we're finished here. I think we're just getting started here, and so that's my main focus right now. Winning a conference championship, these guys have gotten used to it, but what, what did this mean to you, winning a conference championship? Um, it meant a lot to me. Um, being on a team for five years that probably didn't even break top five in the conference um, to turn around and do something like this is special. Um, I mean, like you said, everyone here has had multiple of them, but um, I think it just still means a lot to everyone else too, just with all the changes and starting 0-2 and, and thinking that we could never make it back to the top. And so I think, um, I feel like this is one of the hardest ones we've had, this school has had to get in a while. And so I think um, it meant something to them too. What have you, what have you learned about yourself and your game this year? Kind of gone through that journey of 0-2 start, had to battle back and find your game on this new team. Um, I just think being more versatile. I think um, being a point guard all through my career at Alabama and having to play off ball here some with having Sarah, which is amazing. Um, I think just being more versatile and filling any role that the coaches have asked me to fill. Um, I've also had to feel like I had to play better defense this year because most of the time they like put me on bigger defend, um, bigger offensive players and. Um, just having a lot of assignments. So I think not only like on the court, but off the court and being a leader, obviously I've played like the most games in NCAA history. So just using that experience with my teammates. At 0-2, how did y'all keep believing? Or what, what was the mindset when you're 0-2 and, and almost 0-3? Um, I mean, after we lost the Oklahoma game, because Nikki told us that she thinks this is a three-loss year to win the Big 12 anyways, and so she was like, we can't panic. Like, we have to stay together, and we have to be able to um, believe that we can do it with each other. And so I think just getting one win on the board was important for us because um, you just want to see the ball go through the net, and you want to see the results. And so I think um, our coaches did a very good job of, like, keeping us hungry, keeping us to be resilient through the bad times. And so I think um, just getting that first win on the board was um, good for us to take a step forward. Everything is through the, through the post, everything is through the paint, you know, touch the paint every single time down the floor, whether with Coach Collins, it's more like spread the floor out, you know, a lot of pick and rolls, a lot of step ups, you know, uh, we spread the floor out a lot more, our guards shoot a lot more, a lot more threes this year, uh, I'm on the perimeter a lot more this year, whether that's guarding the perimeter or scoring from the outside, I mean, 
like like y'all see, I, I'm scoring a lot more shooting outside rather than just you know paint touches a lot. How much does that help you maybe even going to the next level, kind of stretching your game out like that? It helps me a lot, actually. It kind of gives me a head start of what I'm going to see in the WNBA because, you know, talking to these WNBA uh, coaches, they already tell me, like, you're going to play three or four. So that helps me already get my defense together, you know, scoring on the outside. Because, you know, the league, it's like people are like six, seven, six, six, eight, you know. So I know I'm not going to be banging with them. So just getting a head start in shooting outside and scoring outside is good. How much has Nikki helped you in preparing for that next level? She's helped me a lot, whether it's through uh, through gameplay. She puts me in situations that I'm going to see in the league. She tells me, you know, this is some, some things they use in the league. This is the terminology they use in the league. So, I mean, she's already given me a head start and the keys to the WNBA. So I feel like that's helped me tremendously. During your time at Baylor, when, when did you realize, okay, I can I can make it at the next level? Was, it, was there a moment or did it just kind of happen or – well, I mean, I kind of, I kind of been wanting to go to the WNBA since I was a kid. You know, uh, just growing up, I always wanted to be a part of the WNBA. You know, that's why I do everything that I do. But I would say probably like uh, sophomore, junior year. That's when I was really like, okay, I could, I could do something with this. I could actually take it further than just you know playing. Liz, how much, how much did J. Lou mean? You know, just kind of her coming in and. Uh, taking the point guard role, playing some off guard too. But how much has she made? How much of an impact has she made? Uh, she's made a huge impact. Uh, she, she's coming in with so much knowledge already from the game. I mean, she's played so many years. She has the experience. You know, you trust her with the ball in her hands. So when she does have it at the you know point guard position, you could uh, trust her. Like I trust her to make that winning pass. Trust her to make the winning shot. She just has so much experience. Okay, you talk about the amount of games she's played. I mean, you've played four years. You're you're probably feeling like you're just about done. She played six. Yeah, Can you wild. even imagine something like that? No, I couldn't, honestly. <laughs> She's a trooper. I'd give it to her. <laughs> and Queen, obviously you've been with her the whole time. Tell me what she brings and maybe what she's improved this year. Uh, scoring around the rim for sure and just falling in love with defense, I would say. You know, you see her get these monster blocks every game, and I feel like that can help her stock grow a lot where, like, a lot of people focus on offense. When you become that one player that focuses on defense, a lot of people that could raise a lot of people's radar, and I feel like that could help her. Will, will uh, Sunday be emotional for you? Will that be a <laughs> emotional day? Absolutely. I feel like if if anybody knew what we went through here, not in a negative way, just mm -hmm. like all the different changes and all the different adversity, like anybody would be emotional. What have you learned over your career? Looking back at your freshman year, just started one game and. Now you're at this point. What have you learned over your over your career at Baylor? I say patience. You know, just just stay in the course. A lot of people, you know, come into college just thinking like I'm ready to play. Like I need to be in the game. Like put me in now. Like I feel like when I got here, it was more of like I need to learn from Lauren Cox. I need to watch Kalani Brown. See how she's posting up. See where she's getting the ball at. So I feel like that's the difference. Like in my game is I just want to learn. I just want to see where I could fit in. And I feel like that's helped me along the years. Just like just how you see I can score the ball, it just the patience and I don't rush shots, you know, I'm waiting for that right opportunity to score. And I feel like that's also why, like, you know, my field goal percentage is so good. Like, I'm, I feel like I have a lot of patience throughout the game. Your turnaround jump Thank you. over your sure. shoulder, who'd you learn that from? I don't know, honestly. I feel like I watch a lot of KD. I watch a lot of NBA games, you know, Dirk, a lot of, like, uh, Jalen Green. I just I watch a lot of basketball and what they do. I kind of idolize my game around. Was there anyone you focused on this offseason to kind of draw more from, knowing that the offense would be more open? Um, like watching. Yeah. I say KD. I probably watched his documentary like <laughs> two, three times. I don't know. I just love the way he plays, and I feel like his game is so much modeled like mine. Uh, Brianna Stewart too. Uh, just seeing where she scores the ball at. You know, now that I'm gonna be in the WNBA, I kind of like taking bits and pieces from everybody's game to see where I can improve it. A little bit of a change of pace here, but uh, what what has it been like working uh, around like strength coach with Coach Heffer, having limited bodies this year? Was it like different than other years, having just less bodies? And like, what was that training like this year? Um, it wasn't bad, honestly. Uh, I feel like he never really like overworked us. He's been here so long that he knows 
like how our bodies work, how our bodies need, like what we need to be put through. He's not going to put us through a crazy workout knowing we do only have like eight players that can play. So I feel like he's real like knowledgeable in his uh, area and he, he helps us a lot. Sometimes the first one means the most. But for you, did this conference championship mean more than the others? Maybe just because of what you had to go through and stuff. Absolutely. That's what I just told them. I said this last one, it, it means the most to me. I'd probably say national championship and this conference championship has been, like, my proudest moments at Baylor just because we started 0-2. Like, right. you don't hear that a lot at, at Baylor University. Like, and so many people were just like, oh, they're not like the other people. They – you know, they, they're not as good anymore. And I just felt like we kind of took that chip on our shoulder and we was like, all right, we're going to make it happen. We're going to turn the whole season around. So going from 0, 0 to 2 and, like, winning a conference championship, it's just something that, you know, it sticks with me. It hadn't been done in 22 years in the league. So yeah. y'all did something not a lot of people have done. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, yeah, and then what's, what's your goals now, like, for the rest of this year? What, what kind of things would you like to see? see this team do I guess I say just keep playing our best basketball I feel like we're finally playing together and I feel like everybody's finally starting to believe in us and everybody's starting to see it too you know I want to make a run for the national championship of course like it's my last year so I feel like I'm gonna leave it all on the court you know go hard every game and just you know enjoy my moments that are left here at Baylor left any doubt that who the number one pick will be for the draft absolutely not have you <laughs> <laughs> She asked you about it, but I mean, will that be emotional? Oh yeah, Sunday? for sure. I mean, have you thought about that? Or? Oh yeah, I'm definitely a crier. People don't know this about me, but I'm definitely a crier, and I don't mind crying in front of people. But it's gonna be really emotional, only because we've been through so much, and I don't think. I mean, everyone says it clearly, but I don't think people understand like exactly what goes on behind the scenes and what kind of coaches put you through and what happens and what you go through with the team and. It's been through, we've been through so much. And so me, Kate, Liz, like, we've always been there for each other. And so this scene and I is going to be so overwhelming. So you're a boo-hoo. I mean, like, oh, yeah. big crier. I'm she already is. Uh, <laughs> thinking about it right now, just tearing me up. <laughs> so you're a pretty emotional player. Are you going to be more emotional before the game? Like, you play with that fire. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to be, I might be more calm, only because I have been crying. But then I, you never know with me, like, I still might come out fired up, like, oh, yeah, it's our senior night. I was just crying five minutes ago, but I'm ready to go now. I'm like, you know, you kind of never know, but we'll see when we get there. That same thing on what you guys have been through, does that make this conference championship mean more, I guess? Usually the yeah. first one yeah. matters the most. But I would say this one means so much more only because – of all the adversity we've been through and all the challenges and the bumps along the way. It just, it makes this one so much more memorable. Whereas in the past, you know, it's kind of easy a little bit. Like we had a few games they gave us a run for our money, but for most of the time, like from my freshman to my junior year, we kind of, kind of coasted. Junior year, <laughs> junior year was definitely, it was definitely hard too, but I would definitely say this was by far the hardest one we've had to work for. I think Liz said maybe on the defensive end, but where do you feel like you've gotten the be best this year, like better this year? Um, definitely defense. I feel like I've taken my defense to a whole nother level. I feel like I'm that person our team can rely on. Like if I get beat, well, I know Queen's right there. They're not going to go up and challenge her. But that's just my role on the team. I feel like I want to make it my presence known on defense. And if I can help any way offensively, of course, I want to do that too. But I've really taken – my defense to a whole nother level in a way that it kind of motivates me even if I'm not having a great offensive game I know that me playing well on defense will get other people opportunities and it just puts it, us in a better situation to win. And you talked about being with Liz and Kate the whole time where have you seen their games in particular Kate I mean she's obviously got more chances this year mm -hmm. but where have you seen her improve this year? Oh uh, Kate has improved just I want to say confidence mm -hmm. Um, freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, she really struggled with finding herself. Mm -hmm. I felt like this year she's really grown into the player. She's always dreamt of being and wanted to be. Kate is also very versatile. A lot of people didn't know that in the past. She can do a, you know, a variety of things. She obviously can shoot super well. 
mid-range, three-point. She can um, knock down a three. And she's also learning to take people off the dribble more. She's not just settling for that shot. And so i definitely seen Kate's game grow in a way that she's had opportunity, like, the coaches now are, are giving her so much opportunity and room to grow that the sky's the limit for her. The spotlight's obviously been on Melissa most of the time you've been here. But mm-hmm. do you feel like that's maybe even helped you some too, though? It takes a little bit of the pressure off of you, but maybe people are getting a chance to see your game too because they're watching her. Oh, yeah, you know, for sure. Um, a lot I, of eyes on her. I can agree with that. Yeah. Growing up, AU High School, of course, but specifically AU, I was the best player. And so a lot of times people would get opportunities because a lot of coaches would come and see me. And so it's the same way. Mm-hmm. I've gotten a lot of opportunities because people take so much pride in stopping lists that they forget, kind of forget about me. Or just the spotlight might be on her, but you also get some credit or recognition because of the fact that people relax off of you and they don't respect you. And so now I feel like, they're learning to respect everybody on the floor because even though Liz is definitely you know, one of the best players in the country, I feel like because the spotlight is on her, it's allowed room and opportunity for other people on the team, and it's just making them and us so much better. Obviously, it's helped for the depth, but what has J. Lou brought to this team, just you know, the, kind of her leadership or whatever? What, what has she brought? J. Lou has definitely brought leadership, I will say. Uh, she's an aggressive point guard, and she's definitely – a lot of people don't know this, but J. Lou is definitely, I would say, a pass-first point guard. She's always trying to look to get other people open. Even if she has the opportunity to score sometimes, she's kind of looking like, who's open, who's open? And a lot of people don't know that. Like, they see the great shooter, the great playmaker and scorer she is, that they kind of play her so much that they don't think she's going to get somebody else a shot. And I feel like... She's just a great passer, and um, she came into this team, and she knew what she wanted to do. She knew her role, and so she's just given us kind of a breath of fresh air as well because, you know, I trust that J. Lou can make a shot if they're double-teaming me, or I trust that she'll make the right read. And so it's just it's been fun playing with her. How do you feel like your pick-and-roll game has developed this year? Because like, now we've seen you at a point where like you're trusted to go get a bucket in crunch time through that pick-and-roll. Well... I want to say I definitely feel like my pick and roll game has grown exponentially, but I feel like we have great passers, and because our great passers are also great phenomenal shooters, that they have to play it true. Like, they can't back off of Sarah or J. Lou or Jamie because they know they can shoot the ball. So they have to play them true, and then not many people can really – not very many post players are athletic enough or laterally quick enough to be able to move in a pick and roll. And so it definitely exposes a lot of post players and their um, their flaws, mostly on defense. But, I mean, I just give all the credit to our guards because they're the ones who make the read and make the passes. I just go in and finish the, the layup. Kate, I guess um, – because I know Melissa has talked about it in the past, not wanting to be the one that ended it. Was it was it really good to, you know, win another championship, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's always great to win. Um, I think this one definitely meant more, especially uh, Kim leaving, getting a whole new staff, you know, losing a lot of players. Um, and I think just from the beginning, like, especially with Liss and Queen, like, we had just, we've been through so much. Like, we've been through it all. It's our fourth year. It's their last year. Um, so it just felt great. You know, I gave him a big hug at the end of the game, just knowing that this is, like, their last one, and it just felt really good. Now, yeah, y'all... Did, did you see that back on the, like, broadcast? I did. Some people posted it, and I was kind of laughing and making jokes about it today, just how big they look compared to me, because I thought it was funny because you can just see my little eyeballs, but I made sure they were, like, the first two I hugged. You know, I was, I was really happy for Coach Nikki and the rest of the staff as well, but... It just means more. We've been through it so much together. So, yeah, it was awesome. Now, y'all three, you, Queen, and Alyssa, just kind of had to sit down and make that decision. What was that like? I mean, were there any internal conversations that went down on y'all's decision to just come back? And uh, I wouldn't say it was just like an internal decision. I mean, I think for us it just made sense to stay. You know, I mean, we'd, we'd already been here. We, For them especially, I mean, Alyssa's definitely going to be – at least my opinion is she's going number one in the draft. Like, Queen is going to be up there. Uh, so for them, it's just like, why not just ball out together the last year? You have nothing to lose. Like, it, it, where else are you going to go? You're at Baylor. You know, that was kind of our reasoning behind it. So, yeah. 
you've seen other senior days, but now you'll finally get to have your, have your senior day. Uh, She's Technically really not, but yeah. I'm going to be crying okay. a lot. Okay. That's She's what I keep back. saying. Yeah. Well, you're coming back. I okay. am coming back. I am coming back. But, so you um, won't be recognized, but you'll just see them. I won't be recognized. Me and okay. Jamie won't be recognized because okay. we're both, you know, um, coming back. But I definitely will be shedding some tears. My family is still going to come out because Liz and Queen are like family to them. Uh, they're really, really excited. So there will be a lot of tears, though. Well, this, this I guess, it has to be the most emotional one for you, right? I mean, Absolutely. all the ones that you've been through. Oh, gosh, yes. Especially just, I feel like, not saying I didn't know things when I was younger, but when you're a freshman, you know, you're kind of just like, oh, starstruck. Like, you're like in a new place doing all these things. Just like freshman year, I feel like I was just kind of there. You know, I was like, oh, this is fun. I'm just along for the ride. Sophomore year, kind of getting into it. I went through another injury, was still kind of going. We got cut short. Junior year last year, I was like, okay, you know, like feeling good, feeling like really involved. And then like this year, it's just making those memories, doing those things. Like, and I, that's for everyone most likely, you know, like you play such a more important role now that like, especially now that I'm a senior, I play a bigger role. So it's like, it just, everything means more for me. It feels like from how Coach Colin will talk about you, I mean, it seems like you guys have established a good relationship and she really values like what you bring off the bench. Have you felt that? What has that done for you this year? I love her. I, I really do. Um, I'm, I'm extraordinarily grateful for her and this staff, uh, the confidence that they've given me, the trust that they've put in me, um, because you don't get that a ton. You know, coaches are always hard on you, things like that. They want you to be this, they want you to be that. But for them, I can tell you, like in the summertime, I'd look at them and be like, I just can't do that. Like I literally I would just say that to them. And they'd look at me crazy saying like, no, let's, like, let's go. You're going to be able to do it. And those things that I couldn't do in the summer, I can do now. Like the things that I would never have thought about doing on off the court, like anything like that, like I would have never done. And now it's like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm capable of that. Like, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I want to be this person for my team and they've really allowed me to do that this year. How much does your back bother you? Is that just a like solid a daily amount. Thing? No, no, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It bothers me a good amount, but still can play, still good, you know. You go through things. It's all good. We Are still you, do, you do, you do a lot of rehab, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, every single day. Yeah. So trying to take care of my old body. I always tell people I'm twenty one at at age and 80 within the body, so, you know, getting real old. Now, uh, Coach Collins kind of talked about you as being the glue to this team. Just do you, do you feed, I mean, do you kind of embrace that role? And it seems like you've just really taken strides, you know, this season with that. Absolutely. I love that role. I don't, I don't think, I mean, Liz is an All-American. We have plenty of scorers on our team. You know, you look around every single game, there's someone new scoring 20-plus points. Like, that's not something that I'm like, yeah, I need to get money, do that. Like, I'm like, I will do whatever these girls want me to do. I will do whatever my coaching staff wants me to do. And I absolutely thrive and, and love that role. How have you seen Queen get better this year? I mean, Liz seems like she's been an All-American yeah. since her freshman year. But how have you seen Queen in particular grow this year? I think when she locks in defensively, we've seen some games. I mean, even last year in the tournament, we've seen it. Um, whenever she locks in defensively, she's one of the best defenders in the nation. Um, and then just whenever she's going to the boards, you know, I think that's where Queen makes her, makes her living, going to the boards, because so many players, especially with Liz and Queen, are going to try to double you, try to bring people over, and, like, that is that is chaotic, you know, especially for them being so great. So I think for her it's just she's gotten so great defensively, being solid on that end and just st sticking with it and sticking with the boards has been great.